hello we are now done with the rectangle the line two we now want to learn something new and something very easy so we're going to learn on how to draw curved and freehand shapes so under freehand shapes we have this freehand shape we also have curves here we have arc two points arc three points arc and a pie we are going to start with this freehand shape so this one is free you can just draw whatever thing you want like that this is good when you want to draw a water body yeah like that and then you snap it there so there it is so we can push it up like that and there is it so if you want to do your water body I think this freehand tool can make a natural water body like that so just select this and delete so next again next we're going to learn on how to draw an arc so when you click on an arc the first thing you're going to see is the protractor so just click on this then I'll create a radius you can see on my right hand down there you can see we have the dimension for the radius if I increase this you can see the radius increasing so maybe I can put it here and then I draw my curve so you can draw as much as you want yeah like that so that is a curve an arc so next we are going to draw a two point arc shortcut for that is A so this one I'm going to just make a, right, a length for it you can see down there it is counting maybe up to that and then I just pull it out like that so there we have it the next is the three point arc So this one looks like its names so if I just do like this that's the radius and then I pull it up there it is three arc three points up then the pi before I draw the pi I'm going to delete this one Three points arc yeah that's the three point arc yeah like that so maybe you can use the line tool to join we have the line tool here then this one to this and there we have our three point up you can pull that up and there it is so the last one is the pi so the pi will take us back to the protector so just snap that in create a radius for it and then draw my arc so you can draw as much as you want depending on what you want to do so that is it with the arcs and the freehand drawing so take your time play around with them and you you'll be amazed on how you can create very fantastic shapes using the freehand tool so thank you for watching and see you in the next video